The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. We're going to take a look at the German DAX. As you can see, I posted that, and then I posted the FTSE. Both of those had a nice upward bias. This was all due to the rumor that the Chinese were coming in to make a deal, even a partial deal. And believe me, folks, uh, the rumor mill is alive and well on Wall Street. I mean, it's amazing. The uh, the, uh, was, the 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 Dow futures uh, moved up 250 points. The the uh, the S&P moved. Uh, I believe 44 handles, and I just wanted to show you something, folks. You know, I do do some work with artificial intelligence, but I just wanted to show you uh, what I was looking at last night when I was watching the uh, the market, and of course I watch it quite a bit. You'll notice. Uh, this was 3 in the morning, uh, New York time, midnight our time, when you see the market had a really nice bounce. We'd gone down and tested 28.92, and then we started up at 29.02, and it forecast the market to be up, uh, you know, the, the total rest of the day. And as, <laughs> as you know, it certainly did all of that. I'll bring that up so you can see it. What was really amazing here, folks, is uh, the, the swings that we were having were just absolutely unbelievable. They were just... Uh, uh, <laughs> you know, you're right, David. David's artificial intelligence is no match for natural stupidity. I have a little flavor of both. I'm not sure what the percentage breakdown is, uh, but that's it. I mean, we, we had some swings here uh, from 29.36. It dropped 20 handles, rallied 20 handles, came down, and we're still trading around that same level. So there's all kinds of rumors going on. Folks, I'm going to do something different here in the next few weeks because um, this this is the time of the year when I usually get some really wild volatility in the market, and I'm working very closely with my good friend Tom Hugard over in uh, the UK. And uh, uh, we did this during 2007 and also in 2000, and uh, we're going to do it again this year. For the next uh, six weeks or so, from October the 16th, I'm going to do a webinar for uh, TFNN in here, and I'm going to offer uh, the trade. I'm going to offer a trade of the day. In other words, I'll pick out what I think is going to be the best trade for the day. And uh, then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the use of harmonic numbers and how they help you to quanti quantify your risk. I'm also going to be uh, talking a little bit about the artificial intelligence. I'm going to be talking about the structure of the market, what we're seeing as far as potential to the downside, and we're going to trade it very, very actively. So what I'm going to try to, what I am going to do, is I'm going to bring out one or two really nice, what I think are. Um, patterns that set up uh, with the uh, the patterns that we look at along with the artificial intelligence because artificial intelligence that we do folks has nothing to do with price when you see these little graphs with the blue or the red line all you're seeing is what the predicted time is supposed to be it has nothing to do with the price it's very very important to remember that let me just let me just give you an example here here is the one for uh, the gold last night You'll notice here that gold was due to go down lower. It went from uh, 1516 down to 1505. It closed right near its lows, and then of course it's had a really nice rally. So it's all it's all based on time. It has nothing to do with the price. So when you see that, you just realize that that's where it's supposed to be working. Now, if it's making a prediction and it's not going in that direction after about you know, 15 bars, which is a half an hour, there's something wrong. And that's when you have to really tighten up your stop or just get out and, and wait and see what the next uh, what the next thing is going to be. And in fact, today, today, actually, this is really a crazy one today, folks, because the, the one that looks the best today is the uh, the uh, the soybean market. It's, I'll just bring this up here to let you take a look at it, because it uh, we have all this bullishness coming out now with the uh, with the Chinese stuff. And it looks like 
like that uh, we're making some type of a top in soybeans. Whether we are or not, I don't know, up about eight or nine cents right now. But that's one of the ones that we'll be watching. So I'm going to be doing this as an experiment because if it works good, I think we'll offer it, you know, to main things like the stock index futures. I'll do the stock index futures uh, just about every day. And then, of course, I watch gold and crude oil, you know, uh, you know, quite a bit, which is, is really nice. We had a, a really super nice uh, run in crude oil last night. Uh, I mean, it was only a thousand bucks, but uh, well, I didn't get all that. And let's get this up here to take a look at it. But you can see here that the uh, we'll give it explain. You see the red line there. The red line is the time of when the market should start to go up. And as you can see, it was due to do at 2.30, made a slightly lower low at 4 o'clock, but within, you know, $50 of the exact low. And then from there, it rallied a dollar a barrel. So what it's trying to do is to line up the, t the price and time. You have to line up the price yourself, but if you got the time of what whether it's going to be a strong trending day or not. That's the whole key. Now, with the soybean one, you can see it's pretty choppy with a negative uh, bias on the day. Now, whether that's going to happen or not, I don't know. We'll check that out tomorrow. But uh, that's what we're, we're keeping an eye on here this morning. So um, uh, we were kind enough to hear from our good friend Ruby. She tells us that these hogs that she bought uh, yesterday are going to open limit up. And the fact is, I think she bought them right on the low down there at around 64 and a half would be my guess. And with all the Chinese talk, at Looks like the hogs are going to open higher too. Uh, limit up. That's that's a that's a heck of a move. That's four cents in hog. Uh, I think three cents in hogs. So that's a that's a pretty nice move uh, in the hog market. So I've been asked to uh, take a quick look at the at uh, the DAX. Uh, excuse me, not the DAX. The VIX index. We haven't looked at this. For a very long time, this is one of the positions that we've held, uh, you know, ever since it was down around 11. We've always held the position here that we're looking to, for it to eventually go way above that 36 level. Uh, if you remember back in 07, it got to 98. And I think we'll get at least a 55 in the VIX index sometime. But there's no fear in the market right now. There really isn't. I mean, you can listen to it on the news. You can see it. You know, it just doesn't make any difference what the news is. The market keeps, you know, bouncing back. So those are just some of the things that we're worried or not. We're talking about as we go through here uh, today. Now, the gold has a. If the gold can get above the 1520 level, that will change the whole sequence of whether it's going to be bullish or bearish or not, folks. Because if it can clear that 1520, it's got a uh, it's got a real chance, you know, to make a uh, you know to make a pretty good move. If if in fact it is, uh, if in fact it will do that, I and mean, we don't know if it will or not. But you know what? Nobody else does either. That's the whole key to uh, what we're watching here. So if you have any questions this morning, it's 877-927-6648. And uh, remember, tomorrow uh, we have this uh, full moon coming up here on Sunday. And that's the 13th of uh, October. And we also have our our prize guest will be uh, Norm Winsky tomorrow. And he'll be on Thursday, which uh, will give us his stuff that we're looking at. And that's what we'll be uh, looking at tomorrow. So we'll see what's going on here. The... Uh, the uh, beans are all uh, the beans are having a nice run in here. Uh, they are completing a nice little pattern in here, probably because of all the news going on. It probably doesn't mean very much, but I'll post it anyway, so you can take a take a look at eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. 
Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I posted the uh, chart, an hourly chart of the euro versus the U.S. dollar. You know, we've been in a – ever since we made that bottom down there at 108.75, we we rallied 110 pips. We backed off, um, what, 58 pips, almost at the exact 50 percent level. You see it's, it's – the exact number was 0.47. We've had a nice little rally of 30, 40 pips several times. You can see that downtrending line that you have there. That's a potential that that is a 135 pattern so if it doesn't get above a 109.90 pretty quickly I would assume we're going to head down one more time the reason for me posting this euro chart on the hourly chart this morning is has something else that I wanted to chat about and that is about um, the people that watch the monitor uh, all day long folks that that monitor is not your friend it's basically a mirror looking at all the psychological imperfections they can find in you and believe me, it's pretty good at digging them out. I suggest that you only look at the monitor. Maybe uh, I know you can't, you know, you can't break yourself from that habit right away. But try to try to stay away from watching it for say 15 minutes. Do that for four or five days, and then if that starts to fit in with your program, maybe move to to 20 or 30 minutes. And you know, every you can check it every 30 minutes. There's nothing wrong with that. But you know, have your limit minders on, and you'll be able to, you know, if the price hits your, you know, your price objective, that'll be fine and if it doesn't you know that'll be fine too so uh, just try to find out a spot where you're going to be able to uh, you know don't have to watch it because the problem is you, you have these programs now that's telling you what your equity is you know every second you can see the little cash register running and believe me that's not good that that is really good the reason why you look at that monitor it 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 makes you want to do over trading you're seeing things that are really not there you don't prepare for them you see them you act on impulse it leads to errors. It leads, it leads to exhaustion. And, and even the worst thing that happens is it leads to frustration. And the frustration is when it starts tearing at the old trader's soul. So try to plan the trades that you that you really want to do for the day. In fact, if you can do more than three, you got to be a master because I certainly can't do more than that. And well, I'm not that I'm a master or anything, but I, I just don't like to look around that much to, to see, uh, you know, what's different. And you're only going to be right about 
about, uh, you know, uh, probably you know, two thirds of the time, and that's pretty good. You know, nobody in the baseball diamond can hit 600. So uh, all you have to do is, you know, kind of keep your losses, you know, relatively, uh, you know, small between three and six hundred dollars, and you should be okay. This is not a this is not a rocket science uh, project, folks. It really isn't. This is a, a whole lot easier. It's really, uh, it's uh, that's different. There's our old friend Joe DiNapoli. David uh, White has just posted the definition of a professional trader is one who makes the least mistakes, not the one who makes no mistakes. Yep. I remember teaching Joe about Fibonacci in 1974 at the uh, 73 in the McCulloch Oil Building at Conti Commodity. He was an engineer and uh, he lives in uh, Bangkok, Thailand now, he and, and Patty. And uh, we were friends. We're still friends, but I haven't seen him for many years. I heard he was in poor health, but uh, he's a really sharp guy. As a matter of fact, the calculator on my desk here, uh, Joe gave me uh, 35 years ago, and I'm still using it. And uh, so he's a pretty nice guy. Anyway, let's uh, let's move on to uh, talk about a couple of markets that I think are very very important. That U.S. dollar index, folks, uh, just by looking at the at the euro here, could go either way. We hit 99 and change. Uh, that went back to test that old high again, so it could easily pop through there, and that could mean that the gold is taken off uh, to the moon and all that kind of stuff. So, whether that means or not, I don't know. But you know, we're having we're having tremendous volatility at least beginning now. This is why I think we're going to see more and more of it because this is only the uh, the ninth day of October, and uh, you know, here we are in the month that is most uh, uh, famous for making major bottoms in the stock market, whether it does does or not, I don't know. But uh, if we, you know, look how quickly we gave up uh, uh, the action yesterday. We were down, what, 338 points. The Fed chairman spoke. The market rallied 100 Dow points and then gave up another 300 points and went down and bottomed just last night right around um, 11 o'clock at night, 2 o'clock, it was around 3 o'clock in the morning, New York time, and then had a nice 250-point uh, rally. Uh, the S&P rallies 44 points, and that's based on, uh, you know, someone said, don't Yes, we'll do it. We'll do a partial deal with China. They might be interested. Well, <laughs> there's so many things going on in the world, folks. Uh, I wouldn't believe any of them. So uh, just be careful of. Uh you know what you have, and you have to use stops in these markets nowadays, because it's uh, you know it's really uh, it's it's really uh, uh, it's a news-driven market. You're absolutely right, Terry. The the slightest little news item, you know, makes the market very very jumpy. But it's how the market's reacting to the news. You know, yesterday with the with the Fed chairman, you know, saying that everything was great, everything looks good. You know, the market rallied what 70, 80 points in the Dow, and then it gave it all back. So Sometimes it reacts uh, positively and other times it doesn't. So when you see a really bad news uh, thing and it doesn't uh, move very much, that's telling you that uh, you know, it's not reacting well to the news and that isn't good. You certainly don't want to uh, to do that. Uh, well, uh, let's see, we got another, how much more do we have? We've got two more minutes in this group. When we come back from the, uh, from the break here, we got two more minutes. I'm going to share with you what I'm going to be talking about at 1 o'clock today for Stark stockcharts.com on their TV network. Uh, if you listen here, you if you want to go to it, just go to www.stockcharts.com, and I'll be talking about these next two things. I'm going to be talking about the S&P and also the gold from a charting standpoint, because uh, uh, we'll uh, give them some ideas of what we're watching here. We'll be able to see it. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, there, there's so much fake news out there. If, you know, folks, there's fake news all over. There's fake news in China. There's fake news in Hong Kong. I mean, it's all kinds of stuff that you just cannot believe the stories that you hear. And I, you know, it's always been this way. It just seems like it's a little bit more pronounced now that uh, we have Twitter. So we'll be able to see, uh, you know, we'll have to be able, you know, whether it means very much or not, we'll have to pay attention. I wanted to share with you, this is the one that has really uh, got me a little bit concerned here. And that is the, uh, this is the weekly chart here of the Hang Seng. And we're, we're trading around 25,700 tonight. And uh, if we break below that 25,000 level, you know, we could be looking at an easy 20% drop in the, uh, 
Hang Seng Index, and it would still be bullish, as you can see from the higher bottoms. So there's always a potential that some of these could really be, uh, really be something. So we'll be able to see whether that's going to, to be the case. It's uh, well, anyway, we'll we'll just do one thing at a time. All I know is when I see something in the news anymore, the first thing I do is shake my head because I <laughs> I don't believe anything anymore. It's not like when we had uh, Walter Cronkite and uh, uh, and some of these other guys that not Peter Jennings, of course, but uh, at least Walter Cronkite was a straight shooter. At least we thought he was, but you never know. So we'll see. Oh, we got a break coming up here. When we get back, I'm going to go over... Um, uh, we're going to go over and take a look at the S&P uh, cash, and also we're going to look at the gold on the long-term basis, and uh, this is what I'll be talking about for uh, stock charts uh, today, so it'll give you a little bit of an idea of what we're watching. And when we, when we finish that, we'll look at some currencies. Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of tfnn.com under trading newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, folks, I posted the uh, forecast today for gold uh, with the AI program, and I marked it there. You'll see it around 11 o'clock in about an hour and a half. It should be making some type of a top in the gold market. Could be a little bit lower, could be a little bit higher. I don't know, but uh, we're up into that 15, 16 area. This should give us a little bit of resistance, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, we'll, we'll follow through with this tomorrow along with the one we looked at in soybeans, you know, to see uh, how they work out because sometimes they work sometimes they don't but when they do uh, they work pretty well now david white posted a quote by john kenneth galbraith and folks that brought back a whole lot of memories uh, 1963 i'm at the university of indiana doing my mba program and uh, galbraith came in to uh, give us a, give us a speech and i remember very vividly i was not trading um, soybeans at the time uh, i did trade some corn but i wasn't trading soybeans and he said to the class he said, you would learn more about going short a contract of soybeans than you will in the two years you'll be in school here. And his reasoning was, it'll tell you all about supply demand. It'll all tell you about risk. It will, it will all tell you about margin and handling money and stuff. But uh, he was really big on that, that uh, you had to learn speculation the hard way, and that is to go in and buy something and uh, learn how to sell it from the short side and what that means and stuff like that. But that's quite true. Another thing that uh, you might not remember, might not know about soybeans is it was originally, it was a product from China and uh, it was brought to the U.S. by Henry Ford because he needed an oil-based paint, and soybean oil was really uh, spectacular for that. So he brought soybeans, you know, mainly for that reason. So that instead of having a black car, you could have a white or a green or a red, you know, any color. Um, that was the problem. You didn't have anything to uh, to mix it with it to uh, to mix the paint. But that's really how it got started. And then when you first started soybeans. Back in the 30s and 40s, they used it. Uh, they would plant a, a corn, and then the next year they would plant soybeans, and then they would they would till the soybeans into the the soil into the following year because it would put all that nitrogen and stuff into the soil and make it a lot better. But now with all the hybrid stuff, it's a it's a whole whole different ball game. So there's what we're paying attention to this morning here. And let's take a quick look. Uh, I wanted to go now and talk a little bit about what I'm going to be talking about at the uh, stock charts thing today. I'm going to post this. This is the pattern that I'm looking at, folks. <clears throat> this is the uh, one, two, three, four, five expanding triangle. Uh, Wells Weiler called it the reverse point wave. It's the T6 pattern in Gartley's book, uh, which is T means triangle, and uh, basically is the one, two, three, four, five. What's interesting about this one is the fact that the two to three wave uh, is exactly 61% of the four to five wave, so that makes the four to five wave 1.618 of the two to three leg, plus the high from the one to the three to the five is exactly uh, 10 months in each one, so that's the main thing. Now, we're trading it around... Uh, 29 and change this morning. Uh, we got down as low as 28.20 the other day. Got down to 28 to 80 last, 82 last night. Now uh, then uh, has had that pretty big correction. So we're looking at potentials for, you know, some really big moves that uh, that could be that, that could be important. That's the main thing. But the the whole thing that you want to look at when you're watching symmetry like this is to to look at the look at the point four on the chart, folks. You'll notice the point four was a perfect 50% retracement of the low from December of 2016. And from there, we go 10 months up into a new high, and we complete this three-drive pattern. Now, one of the things that we talked about on Monday is I showed you that if you looked at all of these things, you're going back to 2000, and just take a quick look at this, you'll be able to see that uh, you made a beautiful uh, one, two, three, four, five expanding triangle in January of that year. The NASDAQ didn't top until March, but the Dow chopped in January of that year. And if you look at 2007, which we're going to do here, you'll get up and take a look at this. You'll be able to see the same pattern, the one, two, three, four, five expanding triangle pattern. And uh, what you need to do, though, is to, like Twentyman says, defy human nature and do the work yourself and put in the ratios so that you'll be able to see them, uh, what's going on. Uh, you know, Mike, let's take a quick look at platinum since you ask about it. It should shouldn't take us very long. Give me one second up here to get it here. Oh, we are having a, such a fun day today here in River City. Let's just get this up here. 
one thing. Uh, you know, I, it's really funny because I, uh, I, as you most, you most of you folks know that I don't sleep too well, but that's been the case ever since I was a little uh, a toddler. My mother said I would basically, you know, sit in my crib and uh, not let, you know, no one would uh, uh, come and get me because I would just there and play, you know, by myself. I guess that's what I'm doing with the markets here. <laughs> Nothing's really changed. Let's uh, take a quick look here at the platinum for Mike. Uh, platinum's not acting very well, Mike, compared to the rest of the, the metals. Uh, had, has had virtually no rally in here. We've had this beautiful 135 pattern that is held, but there should be, uh, after that big ABC that we've had here uh, in the uh, platinum, and boy, this thing should be, it should be up to trading around 920, I would think, because we've had nice moves in silver and really nice moves in gold, but not a nice move in platinum. So that doesn't look very good to me. I, I In fact, it's I believe is down on the day to day uh, with gold being up. So I don't I don't like platinum in here, Mike. It's just not. Hey, hey this this could change in 20 minutes, Mike. But right now it just doesn't uh, it just doesn't have the the what do you call it the umpad to get it uh, moving in that direction. So we'll have to wait and see. That's the whole key. Okay, now let's move on here. We've got the um, stocks are still higher, uh, backed off just a little bit from where they were. So we'll do one thing at a time as we as we walk through uh, some of these things that we're looking at. We have a, a situation here. <clears throat> Give me a second here in crude oil, folks. <clears throat> this is one here that looks really interesting right now. Whether it'll happen or not, I don't know. But this is what we're watching. Let's just get this up here to take a quick look at it. Now, this is an ideal situation, folks. Now, don't do this trade because this thing could be 100% wrong and I don't want the responsibility. But the, the good part about this is I'm going to go through and show you here. Here's the forecast that we're looking at here in the uh, in the crude oil, uh, we, we should be topping right here. You can see the, the the red line is the forecast, and it's following relatively well. We had a high of 13 uh, 5360. We're trading at 5341. So you can it's a 53 thousand dollar contract for for 40 cents, 400 dollars. You can trade this, so your stop has to be around 5380 if that's what you're going to do. But if it's correct. And if it's correct, and I don't know if it is or not, but if it's correct, that means you've got a clear sailing for the rest of the day as it should be to the downside. Now, whether that's going to be the case or not, I don't know. But you know what? Nobody else does either. Uh, the fellow that developed this was the fellow who uh, developed the Tomahawk Warhead missile. And uh, he's the one that did the artificial intelligence program. I've gone through the whole story of that. Those of you that are—we're uh, going to have a webinar on the 16th, that I mentioned. Those of you that uh, decide to take the webinar— uh, uh, we're also, I'm going to give you a copy of my book, Artificial Intelligence, that I wrote but never published. And the reason why is, uh, A, I didn't know too much about it. Uh, it's basically a diary of the stuff that I learned and didn't learn and all the other stuff. But uh, it's it's a good book. The problem is I, I just didn't want to didn't want to publish it. And uh, much to the chagrin of my good friend, Ed Dobson. 877-927-6648. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. 
If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Next. Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, we're going to take a look at the Christmas corn here. This is December corn, and we've had a uh, you know pretty nice run here. Uh, we're just about a, a half a cent above the previous day's high. We've got the news coming in supposedly that the Chinese contingents wants a partial withdrawal or uh, not a withdrawal, a partial deal. Uh, I don't believe any of that stuff. So follow the charts. You know, that's pretty much it. You're completing uh, some really nice patterns in the corn and also, uh, especially in the, in the soybean market. It's It's got a lot of things that are telling you that, you know, got some ABCDs in here. If you believe in ABCDs, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. But that's it. I'll show you the ABCD here uh, in the March soybeans. And uh, I'm going to post this chart. Now, Al, would you tell is this the best size? Ah, OK. Double check. Now, is this the best size, Al, right there? Is that the kind you like? Because that what I have to do to that to do that one is I have to send it. I have to send it to the desktop and then I post it off the desktop. So that's the main thing uh, that we're looking at. So we'll keep an eye on that. Remember these ABCD patterns, folks, uh, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. The actual statistics behind ABCD, a perfect ABCD where you have time and price together, AB equals CD in price and time, those work about 60% uh, of the time, excuse me, about 50% of the time. The other 50% of the time, it will be con be controlled by the C point of the CD leg. If you come out of there really strong, the CD leg will tell you that you're most probably going to expand to 1.27 or 1.618. And those of you that follow the work that we do is once you get past 1.618, you're uh, you're back in old uh, Michael Jackson's territory, Neverland, because you can't uh, you don't know where it's going to go past 1.618. And we've seen this in so many markets that it just keeps accelerating. We've seen it in gold, crude oil. Well, everything, stocks, and all, they all do the same thing as when they accelerate. They accelerate past those 1.618 levels, and that's what makes them, uh, you know, so so very, very exciting. Now, the next chart that I'm going to cover at the uh, show today for uh, stock charts, which is at, uh, I believe, 1 o'clock, you have to go to uh, www.stockcharts.com dot com slash tv and then you'll be able to get on you're not gonna i'm not, I'm not gonna be doing anything uh you know where i have to wear a clean shirt or anything like that i'm just gonna be talking and showing charts i don't uh 
Let's get the chart up here for the, uh, I'll do the natural gas. You bet you, Mike. I like natural gas. I really do. I think that's got a real chance. Here's the weekly. Uh, I just wanted to go back over the last eight years and show what's happened, you know, in the, uh, in the market here. The high was made back in August of uh, 2011. We were in Hong Kong at that time, and the open interest was dropping like crazy, and I was being interviewed by the Wall Street Journal of uh, Asia, Asian Wall Street Journal, and I said, this is probably one of the major tops in gold, and I got lucky on that one. Came down, made a Gartley, uh, then you can see what's happened. We had that beautiful head and shoulders pattern that uh, treated us so well, and uh, then we had the ABCD up. The key here, folks, is if we get below 1460 uh, in the gold now, after that beautiful ABCD pattern and the move back up, uh, son of a gun, it looks like it's going to be uh, it's going to be uh, pretty pretty exciting anyway. We'll take a take a very very close look at that one for sure. Now to find the natural gas, and I had that posted this morning because it looks so nice uh, as far as for a daily setup and shut the front door and raise the rent. I cannot find it, so what I will do is I will go to uh, the second next best thing to do, and that is to pull up the. Uh, there we go. Get this back up here and we'll bring it up here and take a quick look at it all righty okay here it is right here we got down to that 28 level 228 227 and um, the fact is I, I don't know if it's up or not but it had a forecast today to be up all day I, I don't know if it's uh, if, if natural gas is going higher because it should be going higher and, and I haven't checked it because I've had well I'm doing this show and I got too many other things to do so could someone tell me whether the natural you know what I can do this myself and that way we will know if this thing actually is working or not. So let's just take a quick look here at the uh, natural gas. NG, where are you? NG is a natural gas. And we'll take a quick look. Here. Oh, I love this one. Hold on a second here. Let's see if it's working. Uh, yeah, a little tiny bit. I mean, nothing. nothing. Well, it's not too bad. Hold it. Give me a second, folks, and I will get this up here, and uh, we'll take a quick look at it here. Uh, you know, uh, this is actually fun for me because I, I've put a lot of time into this darn program, and I know it's got a lot of things uh, that's good, sometimes not so good, but uh, let's uh, let's get it in here to take a look at it. Here's the uh, AI program uh, forecast today for the natural gas. You'll see we've had this uh, nice move up. In fact, we should be into a consolidation now for the next two hours if this is the case. Now, folks, if this thing keeps going in the next 15 or 20 minutes and it hasn't made a top, uh, this thing is going to be up a lot. So uh, watch it right now because if it doesn't move strongly from this level, uh, this is where if you're in the stuff, you put your stop at your break-even point, go out, have a cup of coffee over at McDonald's where you can get it for a buck as opposed to the $3.90 coffee at Starbucks, and it's the same coffee. Um, you know, then you come back and see what's happening. Don't pay any attention to what the market's doing. You know, don't stare at it all day long. The most I stare at the market is when I'm doing this show between 7 and 8. And uh, 6, and, well, let's, let's, let's try it again, between uh, 9 and 10 on New York time. Okay. Oh, one other question someone's asking about, uh, and that was the uh, the gold market. Why is the the fifteen uh, twenty five such so important? And the reason for that is, folks, that was the last high that we had after the uh, market bottomed. We rallied sixty dollars. That was basically two harmonic numbers. The harmonic number in gold is thirty four, and I think it went up sixty five two times thirty four sixty eight. So, uh, and the, the the pullback, we haven't had a thirty four dollar pullback back yet, but if we do get that, that would be an interesting one to uh, pay uh, close attention to. That would come in around 1485 if it does uh, does make that correction. So those are the keys that we're sort of focusing on as we as we go through today. Okay, all the same, we've covered the platinum. Um, did the hogs open limit up, Ruby, or not? Did they, uh, we'll see whether there's any, uh, uh, any uh, movement in the hogs? I don't even really watch hogs at all, except for the end of the day. I don't pay too much attention. I spend all my time in the stock indices, gold, silver, platinum, gold, silver. Uh, they didn't open limit up. Aha! Sign of slight weakness. I can remember one of my vivid experiences on the floor was I was short pork bellies, and they were supposed to open up the limit. And uh, Maury Zider, the guy that was holding the main deck, uh, hey, we got a caller from uh, New Jersey. Victor, are you there? 
Yeah, I was just wondering where X is going. Where do you think? That's a big steal, right? Like, yeah, it seems like yeah. it might test that 1016 or 1034 and just blow right through it. I don't know. You know what I'm going to do, Victor, is we've got a break coming up here. So what I'm going to do is I will put up the chart for big steal, and I will— And it just got downgraded. Uh, you, yeah, it I know. Well, that, that's, that's the usual case. Yeah, I, like I have a lot of steel. I guess they're going to go to zero. Yeah. I guess. Well, I have a I have a lot of affinity for that because the reason is that uh, when Big Steel was making its bottom back in 2000, my grandson was born, and I bought him 200 shares of uh, of, a, of a Big Steel, and it did pretty well. But the gold that we bought for him did a whole lot better. We'll Sorry, post Big Steel. Hey, for me when you get back? I'm gonna I'm nice. gonna post it in the room, my friend. Thank you for calling in, Victor. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 six and three months timer digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well the fact is markets can be timed and i'll teach you the exact set of tools that i use that has transformed me into one of the best at what i do sign up for mastering probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where i take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. sign up today if you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I posted a chart of Big Steel X, and you can see back there in 2000 when uh, little old Chaser was born in August. Uh, I was trading around 10 and had one heck of a rally, and we didn't get out at the top, but it was still pretty good. Um, 
anyway, he still has the gold. Uh, let's uh, it, those of you that have met him, uh, he he's such a super kid. Oh my gosh, he's just he's black belt in karate, plays the electric guitar, he reads poetry, a straight A student, but he's just a good kid. And my uh, daughter's raised a nice young man. Uh, he lost his father uh, seven years ago, but yeah, he's still a great kid. But uh, he, he, he when he went to college, uh, he was he was accepted to go to Harvard, no, not Harvard, he was Stanford, and uh, UCLA, USC, uh, Gonzaga, those were the ones. And of course, he's going to have to pay like 50 grand a year, plus he got some scholarships, but he said, no, no, which is uh, grandfather in Italian, he said, I don't want to spend that kind of money because I want to be a comedian, and that's what I want to be. And I said, by golly, you should be a comedian. I said, we've had five or six in this family that have never got paid for it, so you should be the first one to do it. But uh, And he is really good. When I went over to see him graduate in San Luis Obispo from high school, he was one of five acts that they had for that day, and he gave a 30-minute th uh, uh, comedy routine about uh, – uh, what the heck was the name of it? Uh, Denny's Restaurants, and he had the place in the palm of his hand. He was really good. He researched the work, and it was a very proud day for me. Anyway, let's move along with some of these other things. Uh, remember, we got Norman Storm and Winsky will be on tomorrow. Hopefully, we'll have Bill Meridian on on Friday from Cycles Research Vienna, Austria. Remember to take care of some folks that have a lot less than you today, folks, and live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless.